clause exists to terminate the non-certified contract, a be out of the loan effective immediately. I further move that good cause exists to ratify the unpaid leave status of Mr. Adelongo starting July 19, 2022. Finally, I move to authorize the superintendent to issue written notice to Mr. Adelongo of this board action, including filing any needed reports required by the termination. Second. Got a motion by Ms. Laura Flynn, second by Ms. Alguien Flores. Any further discussion? Carrying on, all in favor? Motion passes unanimously. All in favor. Breaking news out of Uvalde, Texas tonight, where school police chief Pete Arredondo has been fired. Let's get right to the ground. Newsy National Correspondent John Moan is live on the ground again tonight in Uvalde, Texas. He was in the room earlier talking with residents there. John, Arredondo fought this tooth and nail. He requested delays. He wanted back pay all this. Now, a unanimous vote. How'd this play out? So it about they went behind closed door uh, to a uh, closed door sessions to discuss you know his termination uh, that happened at about 5:45. They came back in session at 7:10 and quickly uh, they raised uh, the issue of what they were discussing uh, and that uh, they were moving to fire him uh, and then they unanimously voted to fire Peter Arredondo. That uh, obviously uh, was a sense of. Uh, I'm not gonna say joy here. There's a sense of relief amongst the people here, uh, amongst the parents of the victims and amongst their supporters and people in the community. Uh, they, uh, many of them think this is a good first step, but more people need to be held accountable. Uh, so many of them, uh, they're grief stricken. They've been outraged. They've been shocked as we've seen the video. I know you've been talking to some people on the ground in just a few minutes that have passed. What are they saying? Again, this is a good first step. And, you know, when we asked them about some of the language that Mr. Arredondo's attorney uh, delivered uh, to the board in his client's defense, um, not necessarily outraged, but they're just exhausted. And they think, look, here's an attorney doing his client, you know, uh, doing what an attorney does for his client, but it, it's not our reality. And Mr. Arredondo uh, needs to find work elsewhere here. Uh, but they think that more people need to be held accountable uh, up and down the law enforcement food chain. Chance. It's a good point. I think there were more than a dozen agencies on the ground, so I know they still want accountability. As for Pete Arredondo, though, real quick, do we expect an appeal? Can he appeal this? I mean, based on the language of the letter, and uh, I've, I've sent an email to his counsel already, uh, we, we should expect an appeal. Uh, is it official yet? Uh, we don't know uh, until his attorney says so or until uh, we get word from the board that Mr. Arredondo wishes to appeal the termination of his firing. Uh, they, they unanimously voted to fire him. Uh, the superintendent still has to carry out the ministerial act, if you will, uh, to write a letter of termination and send it Mr. Arredondo's way. So that process is started. Uh, it's a question of how Mr. Also, Arredondo responds. I also want to ask you, right before we came on the air, I know you were uh, aside talking with the state senator who oversees this area, and he's been a, a big vocal advocate for them. What did he tell you? Uh, again, he thinks in terms of uh, the people here who responded, uh, Pete Arredondo, although he's the school district police chief, um, is smaller in comparison to some of the uh, bigger uh, agencies uh, in terms of the people who ought to be held accountable in terms of the actions uh, that th those officers uh, or lack of action of those officers on that day in May 24th. So uh, again, Roland Gutierrez, the state senator here, thinks that uh, more investigation is needed and more people uh, in the law enforcement community uh, in this area that were deployed uh, ought to be held accountable. Uh, he brings up, uh, again, a story we have covered, Operation Lone Star. Uh, Uvalde County is a recipient of Operation Lone Star grants. That is Governor Greg Abbott's uh, much vaunted security effort. It's five, almost $5 billion in counting uh, that the state of Texas has spent itself trying to enforce immigration laws along the border. And a lot of those officers uh, from the Department of Public Safety uh, were deployed because of Operation Lone Star. And a, a lot of those officers were officers you would have seen uh, standing in the hallways when that surveillance tape aired.
Hey, yet that day, I think that Gutierrez, he told me something like 91 DPS officers were there. So, okay, three months out, this action has been taken. John Moe on the ground live tonight as Yavaldi decides to uh, uh, fire its school police chief, Pete Arredondo. Thank you.